Uh, today we're just going to do a quick run through of all the available 5 star skillers in uh, Foot 15. So you may want to make a note just for reference of all these skillers and try to get them as soon as you can on the web app or when you get the release. So first up we've got Fidel Martinez of the Mexican League. He's got a quite big downgrade on Martinez this year. Uh, he's got good high low work rates though but unfortunately only a 2 star weak foot on a left footer on the left wing is not too good. Next up we got Nadir Chifchi of Dundee in the SPL. Will be popular in, a, in a Turkish teams. He's got a 4 star weak foot as well which is good. 83 pace and 74 dribbling but he has quite poor passing as well. Next up we got Mohamed El Yunusi of Mould. He has got a 4 star weak foot, 82 pace. Maybe one of the cheaper 5 star skillers as he's not in the most popular league and not a lot of people make Norway teams so not the most popular nation for team building. So next up is Gary Mackay Steven, another from Dundee in the SPL so now two 5 star skillers. So he's now a cam in 5 for 15, he has got a 4 star weak foot, he's got 86 pace but he has got poor shooting and he's got medium medium work rates which are ok for a cam. Next up is a Brazilian Elton in the Saudi league. Will be popular again being a Brazilian silver and now we're losing the Brazilian league as well. There's not going to be as many Brazilvers to choose from. So it will be popular. Only 3 star weak foot but does have his 89 pace. Next up is Alan Zinho in the Turkish league which is making a long await return in FIFA 15. Been waiting a couple of years for this to come back. Only 2 star weak foot though with a medium medium work rate. Here's another Brazilva add to the list in the 5 star skillers. Next up is Shikabala of Sporting Lisbon. Left wing with a left foot but only a 3 star weak foot. Not too good. Uh, does have good high low work rates though and good shooting for a silver winger as well. Next up is Masuku of Orlando Pirates. Not sure how much he is going to be used. Being in the South African League is not the most popular and a lot of people don't tend to make South African teams but he will be making an appearance. He does have a 4 star weak foot as well. So next up is Vitinho, another Brasilva, this time from the Russian league. Does have a 4 star weak foot but he does have dodgy work rates for a cam. He's got medium high work rates which is obviously more suited to a CDM. So he's not going to be getting forward at all that much. Next up is Wellington Silva, another Brazilian of UD Almeria. Has had a big upgrade now with 91 pace and 81 dribbling. Has a medium medium work rate but only a 3 star weak foot but will be a will be a popular very pacey Brazilian. Next up is Kelvin of FC Porto another popular Brazilva. He probably will be expensive when everyone starts realising and snapping him up. A right wing with a left foot as well which is the perfect combo. Uh, great to link up with Shikabala in the Liga Portuguesa. Some good silvers to look out for in that league this year. Next up is Arroyo in the Mexican league. So good pace and good work rate. He's got a 4 star weak foot as well. And for me, he'll be the preferred choice over Martinez on the left hand side in the Mexican league. Next up, we've got Asuma Asadi of now in Stoke in the BPL. Another one which will be very expensive. Five star skiller Silver in the BPL. He's got high low work rates as well and a four star weak foot. Plus, he's got good pace, dribbling, and a decent shot as well for a Silver. Hopefully, we will get a chance to try him. So, next up is Chikawi. This will be probably the most popular one. Uh, popular and affordable. Maybe not at the start, but once it gets going, you will be able to pick him up for a lot cheaper. Five star skill and five star weak foot. He has the pace, the dribbling, and the passing. Decent shot as well. High medium work rates, and he's six foot two to boot. So he looks like he's going to be very OP. Next is Alessandro Maxim of Stuttgart in the Bundesliga. Good card stats, uh, he's got a high medium work rate as well and a 4 star weak foot, could prove popular. Next up is Ben Arthur, he's now at Hull, still in the Premier League and still keeps his 5 star skill. Uh, and yet another right winger with the left foot, uh, he's in a popular league of course, Premier League and got a decent nationality with the French team as well. Next up is Aidan McGeady, now in the BPL as well with Everton, he's got great pace and dribbling He's got his 4 star feet weak foot as well. Uh, it has to be 5 star skill really with one of the skill moves in FIFA being named after him the Giri spin. So next up is Matthias Fernandez of Fiorentina. Uh, will be a popular in Serie A teams I'm sure. 4 star weak foot as well and good card stats. A medium medium work rate isn't bad for a cam so 
look out for him as well. Could be a bargain at the start. Next up, we've got Memphis Depay or PSV. He's now upgraded to a goal this year. And now he has the all-important five-star skill. We will be one of the most popular new five-star skillers. Only slight letdown with this card is his two-star weak foot. But still, he is a left winger with a right foot. So I'm predicting he'll be a very, very good player. One to look out for. Get him straight away if you can. Next is Adele Tarap of QPR. Makes up a great link with his fellow five-star skiller and BPL player Asadi as well. Also with a four-star weak foot, great dribbling and okay, medium low work rate. Next up is Douglas Costa. Uh, will surge in popularity this year. Will be a lot more popular. You very rarely seen him last year. Now he's uh, shiny with a five-star skill. He's going to be in a lot of teams. Got good pace and dribbling, medium medium work rates. But only a three-star weak foot. Next up we got Koresma, who finally makes his return after a long wait. He's back in Ultimate Team with FC Porto. Got his weak four-star weak foot, uh, medium low work rates. So we're not too bad on the right wing. Uh, there's a lot of great options in Liga Portuguesa this year. Can't wait to try him. Looking forward to getting in using the outside of the foot shot with Quaresma. And next is Ronaldinho. A lot thought we won't be in this year with removal of the Brazilian League, as we've said. But he has moved to the Mexican League, so luckily we do get to use him for another year. Uh, obviously, he's, he's getting slightly low on his his pace. is getting a bit worse all the time, but he does have four-star weak foot. And medium low work rates, not too bad. Next up is Nani, now at Sporting Lisbon. He makes the fourth four star skill in Liga Portuguesa, so it is looking very strong this year. I can see a lot more Liga Portuguese teams coming up, up against this year. High low work rates, great work rates, four star weak foot as well. So that makes two great gold options in Liga Portuguesa with him and Koresma this year. Next is Basufa of Lokomotiv Moscow in the Russian Premier League. Only a three-star weak foot this time and with medium-medium work rates. Not too bad for a camp, but he does have great dribbling and passing. Another Moroccan five-star skiller to add to the list. Next up is Juan Cuadrado of Fiorentina. Will be a very popular upgrade up to his five-star skills and great to link up with Fernandez in the Serie A team, his Fiorentina teammate. Uh, only a three-star weak foot. But it's not going to make it too effective. I mean, he's got good work rates. Uh, of course, he's got his amazing 93 pace as well. So, we'll be probably the most popular right wing in uh, Serie A this year. Next, of course, we've got Neymar. Uh, still got great stats. Now he's on the left wing, which I think I prefer. He's got his 5 star skills and a 5 star weak foot. High medium work rates. And will be in a lot of Brazil teams this year. Neymar on the left, Hulk on the right. Next up, we've got the new legend, Nigerian great JJ Kocha. One of the new legends I want to try the most. Uh, fingers crossed we do get to try him. I'm going to try my best to get him. And if you do, you're bound to see a review on my channel as well, if you're interested in a review on him. Next up is Frank Ribery. Amazing dribbling and pace, as usual. High medium work rate and his four-star weak foot. And he's on the left wing with a right foot, which is the perfect combination. You always want that opposite foot to be cutting in on your strong foot to shoot across goal. Next up we got Cristiano Ronaldo, obviously one of the best players in the world at I minute, mean, has a bit of everything, has his head in as well as his shooting, dribbling and pace. Uh, one of the best in the game, high low work rates and luckily more of us will get the chance to actually uh, have a go with him with the new loan system this year in foot. A lot of us are going to be getting chance to use players we could never uh, afford before which is a good thing. And finally, arguably the greatest ever footballer, Brazilian legend Pele. He's got his high low work rates, four star weak foot. Obviously, the only real standout negative to Pele is the fact that he is a legend and he's 95 and the, he doesn't come up that often. So, uh, hardly any of us are going to be lucky enough to, chan to get the chance to use him. So thanks a lot for watching these uh, list of five star skillers. As I said, make a note, try and get them as early as you can before the price fixers get hold of them and start bumping the price way up. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe as well if you're new. We've got tons of stuff coming up with FIFA 15. We'll be doing loads of squad builders, as many as you can think of. Uh, tons of reviews as normal. So thanks a lot for watching, stay tuned lads. Cheers.